You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. What's up, Black and White Sports fans? John Matrix here, and I am back with another video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Also, check out the join button for channel memberships and check out the merch. And when you get your merch, make sure you use the discount code Marxist Sucks, S U X. And I'm going to give you 10% off of your purchase, folks. Let's get into this. Folks, this is crazy. But what is not crazy when it comes to the world of sports, you know, and and life in general? You know, we're living in these pretty woke times right now where race means everything. Just based off your skin color, that actually defines you as a person. And it's no different in sports now, I guess. It's really, really no different here in sports. Folks, NFC Championship game, end of the first half. If you watched the game, you saw Scotty Miller make a touchdown catch from a tremendous pass by Tom Brady, who's actually white, by the way, in case you didn't know. And Scotty Miller also, he is white as well. He blew by his defender and caught the touchdown pass. Tom Brady's the GOAT. We've been over that. Tremendous play by Scotty Miller. However, Chris Carter, Hall of Fame wide receiver, tremendous player, by the way, appeared on the Pat McAfee show. And this is his reasoning why Scotty Miller was able to get open and catch the touchdown pass. It's because Scotty Miller is white. I'm not making it up. Scotty Miller is white. That is the reason why he was able to catch the touchdown pass. So his skin color allowed him to catch that touchdown pass. Folks, if that's the case, why aren't there more white wide receivers making a pro, pro Bowl? I don't get that. Skin color has nothing to do with it, right? I mean, look at Gronk. Gronk is a tight end, not te technically a wide receiver, but he is still a receiver. A lot of people believe he's the greatest tight end of all time because he catches passes. He's white. This is absolutely ridiculous, but this is Chris Carter's exact quote here. OK, I would play the clip, but it, it'll probably end up getting copyrighted. So I'm just going to read it. So this is what Chris Carter had to say as to the reason why Scotty Miller was open. He said this quote, he's white. I'm black. I'm going to say this. The defensive back underestimated that white kid. If that had been Antonio Brown, he would have been backed off of him. Never disrespect the talent level of anyone in the NFL. So he's saying he's saying that the defender pretty much blew the play because he didn't have any respect for Scotty Miller. Folks, when you have Tom Brady throwing you the ball, you better respect every single player on the field. I do not believe that the defensive back allowed Scotty Miller to catch the ball because he is white. That is absolutely ludicrous and ridiculous, folks. I just don't buy it. Chris Carter, I know he played in the NFL for, what, 18 years? So is, do, does he really expect us to believe that defenders are going to leave open receivers just because they're white? It doesn't make any sense. It absolutely doesn't make any sense. If that's the case, why even have a black wide receiver? Because they're going to be covered. And also, you know, you can't even compare compare uh, Antonio Brown in this situation. Antonio Brown is light years better than Scotty Miller. Of course, you know, he's going to be covered. And actually, if you watch the play, Scotty Miller wasn't necessarily wide open. He wasn't. I mean, really, folks, honestly, Scotty Miller just blew past the defensive player. He just blew past him and he beat him. That's the reason why Scotty Miller was open and he caught the ball. He blew past the defensive player. It had nothing to do with skin color. Nothing whatsoever. Maybe we should actually get um nothing but a white defensive bats then that can actually cover, right? Because the black defensive player, he blew the job. So I guess, you know, 
He's representing every single defensive back that's actually um that's actually uh, black. Maybe none of them are any good anymore. That's basically what Chris Carter is saying. Since he has to bring in skin color. I find this very, very disrespectful to Scotty Miller. I also find this to be very, very disrespectful towards the uh, the defense as well. He just got beat. He got beat on the play. Scotty Miller made a play, which was a tremendous pass by Tom Brady. And what has Tom Brady done throughout his career? He has made a career throwing passes, throwing touchdown passes to guys that you really don't even know. I mean, he made Wes Welker a household name. Wes Welker is a white guy. Made him a household name. Julian Edelman, another white guy. Caught a lot of great passes. Remember in the Super Bowl, uh, Julian Edelman caught that pass. It looked like it was bouncing around on the ground, but it never hit the ground. He caught the ball. That was one of the greatest catches in Super Bowl history. It had nothing to do with his skin color. And Julian Edelman was covered on that play. So I don't know what possessed Chris Carter to say something this dumb, this idiotic to say something like this. This is just crazy times we're living in, man. Just really, really crazy times that we're living in. I find this to be highly offensive to both sides. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think it is? Chris Carter playing the race car with Scotty Miller. Disrespecting the man. He made a tremendous play. He got past his man. I'm pretty sure that the other guy wasn't just going to let him blow by him like that. Scotty Miller just made a better play. Tom Brady made a great throw. And to tell you the truth, man, that was really kind of the difference in the game, you know, because the Bucks were actually, I thought they were actually going to kick a field goal. They didn't do it. And that put them up, I believe, 21 to 10 at halftime. And they won the game by five points. So a play like that was huge in the end result. That's just my thoughts on this, guys. What do you guys think of this? Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.